Welcome to Art Inspired Yoga with the Berry Art Museum. My name is Leah of Rise and Shine. This flow we highlight Kita Broadhead's Flowers in a White Face. Kita Broadhead was an accomplished and prolific American modernist. This still life, showcasing the influence of Cezanne, was created in the 1940s when her work became increasingly abstract. Throughout her career, Broadhead remained true to the modernist principles of abstract expressionism. If you're enjoying programming such as this, please look into becoming a member of the Berry Art Museum. We would love to have you. And on to the yoga portion of Art Inspired Yoga. As you can see, Kita Broadhead's piece is over here to my left. Come by to the museum sometime to, to take a look. All right, when you're ready, go ahead and get comfortable on your mat taking some inspiration from this idea of the abstract and expressionism. We're going to flow through this, gently warming up some shoulder rolls back and forth. Even while standing, your core is still strong. Root through all four sides of your feet. Shoulders are back. Crown is lifted, thinking tall. Crowning into yourself. Good. Lift your heart up, chest stays open. Full breaths in, full exhales out. Hands can come to heart center, bow down gently. Perhaps you wanna set an intention for yourself for this practice. See what may be calling to you, or if nothing at all is calling to you, that's okay too. Do your best to connect your breath to movement. <sighs> and exhale, hands release back down to the ground. Walk towards the front of your mat, the top of your mat. Good. Now, again, relax your shoulder blades into their sockets. Big circle back with the right arm, big circle back with the left arm. Playing with this round shape we see here, warming up our shoulders, slight bend in our knees, taking our time to warm up our body. All right, now reverse that motion. It's a somewhat simple movement, but as you're doing this, see how much consciousness you can put into your shoulder joint. How does this feel in your body? How does this feel when you bend your knees? Good. Inhale, arms come up to the sky. Spiral your pinkies together. You can look back. Now bind your hands behind your back. Lift your chest. Pull down on your hands, feeling a nice stretch in your upper shoulders and back. Feet come out a little wider now. Bend your knees, melt your belly, let it rest on top of your thighs. Let your head, crown of your head come down to the ground. Reach your hands over, feeling a stretch in your back. As you work on more shoulder flexibility, it'll you'll see how that mobility changes. But for now, just do what you can. All right, let your right hand paint the ground and come up to the ceiling. Left hand can stay on the ground. Knees are bent softly. Good, find your right hand behind you. Bring your left hand to your center, bend your left knee. Turn up, look upwards to the sky, if that feels good for your neck. Bend both knees, come back down. Right hand's gonna plant, left arm now is going to paint up towards the ceiling and Stroke downwards, good. Find your left hand behind you, plant your right hand, bend your right knee, open towards the left side of the room. Doing your best to stack your shoulders one on top of each other. And exhale, release both arms down, deep bend in your knees, keep bending your knees until you are eventually almost sitting. So you're like a little tight cannonball here, lift it up onto the balls of your feet, Feel your feet muscles warm up, tuck your chin to your chest, gently roll down. You can kind of fall onto the back of your mat, whatever feels best for you. Rock and roll up and down your spine now. I'm keeping my chin tucked into my chest to feel a stretch in the back of my neck. Let your shoulders and back rest down on the mat. Good, bend your knees here, warming up your core, gentle taps down, alternating your feet down, right foot taps, left foot taps. Good, keep the small of your back pushed down to the ground. 
Feel your core warming up. If that felt good, see if you can straighten your legs now. You can always keep your legs bent. If you want a little more challenge, straighten your legs here. Again, your head and shoulders stay on the ground. Good. From here, go ahead, bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together. Coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, you should feel a slight stretch along your outer thighs. Feel free to place blocks on the outside of your legs if that feels good. Going back to this idea of grounding, connecting with your breath. Full breath in, full exhale out. Good. Close your knees together. Feet come out as wide as your mat. Knock your knees into each other. Reach your arms overhead. Stretch. Good. Right arm stays up. Left arm, right, sorry, right arm reaches towards your right ankle. From right heel. It's like you're basically stretching your left oblique, but on the mat still. Feel that stretch along your left side body. Now switch to the other side. Left hand comes towards left ankle. Right arm is coming over. Do your best to keep your right shoulder down on the ground. Good. Come back to neutral. Arms overhead. Walk your feet hip width apart and gently roll up. Let's try that again. Slowly lay back down one vertebra at a time. Engage your core. Exhale. Roll up. Good. With control, lower your back down to the mat. Again, roll up. Awesome. All right, so now our right leg is straightened. You can keep a soft bend in it. Square your shoulders towards your foot. Reach for your foot. All right, reach backwards now. Looking over your left shoulder. Chest is lifted. Exhale. Reach for your right foot again. Again, you can always keep that bend in your right knee if that feels good. Rise up. Swing your right foot behind you now, coming into Pigeon. Feel free to stay lifted on your hands or wrists or lower down to your forearms or even lay down all the way. Your left foot does not have to be exactly perpendicular to your right leg. Let your right leg come behind you long. Square your hips to the mat. Feel the opening, especially along your front of your right hip and front thigh and your outer left leg. Deep breath in here, be gentle with yourself. Pigeon's a big stretch. Come on up, wrap your right leg over your left leg now. So you're sitting up nice and tall. Bring your left arm crossing over your right knee here. Twist over to the right side. Look over your right shoulder. Untwist, come back to just a regular cross-legged seat seated position here. Good. Lowering down again with control, using our core. Back to that core roll up. Set your feet, arms overhead. Exhale, roll up. Lower down with control. Again, roll up here. Good job. Deep breath in and exhale, roll up. This time your left leg comes out to the side. Keep that bend in your left leg if it feels best for you. Square your shoulders to your left foot. Reach for that foot. If you don't quite reach your foot, shin, ankle, that works great too. Feeling the stretch in the back of your leg. Rainbow your arms up. Gentle twist over your right shoulder. You can push the back of your left hand against your right thigh. Good. Release that twist. Open your chest. Exhale. Bring your chest down towards your knee. Reach for your left foot. Maybe you can keep your left leg a little straighter this time. Lift your torso up. Arms are open. Fold a little deeper now over your left foot. Use your breath to help you deepen the stretch here. Swing your left leg behind you now coming into pigeon. Our right leg is in front. You have the option to stay lifted on your palms or come down to your forearms. Go to whatever feels best for you and remember each side can be different. Hips are squared, full breaths in and out. Good job. 
All right. Gently walk yourself up back to seated. Swing your left leg around. Left leg crosses over your right leg. So it's like your knees are over each other. Right arm comes straight up. Twist over your left, your left leg. Look over your left shoulder. Pushing your right forearm into your left quad. Untwist here. Now inhale, keep your legs crossed over each other. You're gonna rest your chest down on your thigh and gently fold your head down. Arms come to your side or back. Good. Now uncross your legs. Let your feet be side by side. Again, gently roll down with control. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. Straighten your right leg, coming into half happy baby. Your left leg is still bent. So you can straighten your right leg if you like, or keep it bent. Further working on opening our hips more. Good. I like to also push firmly into my left foot. It helps me keep my balance. Play around with this, see what feels good. Good. Gently release your right leg. Knock your knees into each other. A nice little restorative pose for our hips. Good. Left leg's turn. Left leg comes up. Happy baby, half happy baby this side. Now, if you like, you can straighten your right supporting leg or keep your right leg bent. It's whatever feels best for you. On your left leg, again, you can bend or straighten your left leg as much as feels good for you. Play around with this posture. Good. Gently release your left leg. Go back to knocking your knees in towards each other and windshield wiper your legs. I always feel a nice restorative pose on my hips here. All right, hug both knees in towards your chest. Gently rock and roll back up. Good, come on through to tabletop. Stack your elbows, your wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Have some organic movement here with a lot of different shapes this this flow I'm doing some barrel rolls you can do some cat cows it's whatever feels best for you connect your breath to movement good exhale on the cat rounding our spine tucking our chin to our chest coming now to a neutral spine all right, extend your left leg behind you. Point your left toe. Hips are still squared to the ground. Push firmly through both palms for balance. Core is engaged, right arm lifts up once you have that balance. Good. Come back down, sit on your heels here. Sit up nice and tall. Let's try that again. This time right foot comes out and left hand comes out to balance. Nice core stabilizer. Good. Now come back again. Sit on your heels. Roll your shoulders back. All right. Coming back to it. Left leg extends behind you. Left leg, left toe points. Now right arm reaches back for your left foot. You're still keeping your hips square to the mat. Push through your left leg. Lift your leg up. Feeling that stretch in your hips. Come back to seated. How did that feel? All right, other side now. Right leg extends behind you. Left arm out. Bend your right leg. Reach behind with your left hand for your right toes. And as much as you can, kick up into your hand, feeling that opening in your hip and quads, and release. Come to child's pose now. Melt your heart towards the mat as much as you can. Get settled here. Full inhales and exhales. <sighs> Good job here. Playing with a lot of different shapes and movements, this flow. Letting ourselves 
be okay with following this. All right, setting up again onto your heels. Palms can raise up, come back to tabletop for a beat. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, our first down dog of class. Alternating between down dog and plank. So we're coming from child's pose. Having some dynamics, some flow in our movements now. Scissor back, tuck your toes, scissor forward, come to down dog. Come forward to high plank, shift back down dog, ripple forward, let your knees lower, shift back child's pose. So it's imagining like this seesaw motion almost, this, this sawing back and forth. Okay? Play with it. Rock forward, tuck your toes, rock forward, lift your hips, down dog, ripple forward, high plank, rock back, downward dog, ripple forward, knees come down, and child's pose. Swing your arms around you, grabbing your heels or your foot. Get settled in this posture. Maybe you rock a little bit. Maybe you inch your knees in closer towards your head. And then gently push up. Rise up onto your knees. Right leg comes in front. Left knee is on the ground. Inhale, right arm comes back to that circle motion. Circling your arm back. Now circle it forward. Have both hands on the inside of your right foot. Coming to lizard. Another big hip opener here. You can rest your hands on blocks if you like. I like to open my right knee out to the side and just make sure if you do this that your ankle and knee are stacked. Good. Wiggle your right foot back to center. Tuck your left toes under. Lift your left knee up. Bend your left leg. Hop forward. Forward fold. Head hangs heavy. Nod your head yes. Inhale halfway lift. Nice flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, swoop your arms overhead, extended mountain posture. Reach over towards the right side. Come back tall, reach to the left. Stretching out your sides here. Nice and lifted, and exhale, release your hands down. Wiggle it out. All right, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Left leg stays in front, right leg comes back. Right knee touches the ground. Right hand can rest on your left quad here. Circle your left arm back. Big circles. Feeling this all in your shoulder. Deep breath in and come to lizard pose. Left foot wiggles out to the side of your mat. Right leg is extended back. Both hands are to the inside of your left foot. Same thing if you go onto the pinky edge of your left foot. Make sure your ankle and knee are stacked. Welcome this big hip opener. Heel toe your left foot back to center, tuck your right toe under, lift your right knee, bend your right knee, forward fold. This time just dangling. Keep in, bend in your knees if that feels good for you. Dangle side to side, painting rainbows. Bend your knees, roll up one vertebra at a time. Good. Now inhale, right knee comes up, step it back, opening to the side of your mat. Big star pose, take up space, exhale, dive down, forward fold, arms interlock behind your back, working on opening your shoulders a bit more, your upper back. Do your best, let your crown of your head come down to the floor while you actively push your arms closer to the front of the mat. Gently release your arms, place your hands under your shoulders, Rock into the front of your feet. Bend your knees, flat back, rise up. Gonna swing now to what is was the back of your mat. Lift your left leg up, balance on your right leg here. Core is strong. Take a big step back, opening to the side of your mat once more. Into goddess. Toes point out, knees are bent. A deep, wide squat here. Hands can rest at your center, shift side to side. Lift your right heel off the ground, lift your left heel off the ground. Deep breath in, star pose, and exhale. Shimmy your feet back into center. You're in the center of your mat now. Hands can come to heart center. Now, if you want to balance on a wall or chair to help you 
That is A-OK. -okay. Hands come on your hips. Lift your left leg up again. Balance on your right, chest is lifted. Take your peace fingers here, wrap them around your big toe and extend forward and out to the side. If you lose your balance like I did here, it's okay. Just get back into it. Again, you can hold your hand on a chair or the wall for balance. You can use a strap. If you feel pretty balanced, see if you can extend your left arm out. Good. Now carefully and with control, let that leg down and go. Good, shake it out again. <sighs> All right. Place your left leg behind you. Stretch over towards your left. Feel that all along the front of your foot, coming up your leg to the, along your side body. Let's try this again. So balancing on your right leg, left leg comes up. Shoulders are back. You're nice and lifted still. Peace fingers come out. Wrap your big toe. Extend your leg out in front and then to the side. You could again balance on a chair or wall, whatever feels best for you. Extend your right arm when it feels good for you. It's okay if you wobble a bit. You're finding your balance in the wobbles. Deep breath in, do your best to stay lifted and gently release. Good job. Lots of shaking out. Those balance postures are always fun and challenging. All right, left leg's gonna come behind you. Gently reach over now towards your right, feeling that nice lengthening and stretch. Come back to neutral. Good job, y'all. All right, face the front of your mat, the top of your mat, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, dive down again, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant your palms. Gently walk back to downward dog, giving yourself space. Ripple forward now into high plank. Come back to down dog, rippling forward, knees are on the ground, send your hips back, child's pose. Our body may be more familiar with that sequence now that we've done it a few times. Deep breath here. <sighs> Gently inch your way forward, almost slithering. Getting set up here on our belly, forehead down, big toes come to touch. Rest here. Now reach behind with your left leg, bend your left hand, bend your left knee, reach for that foot, just like we did earlier. See if you can kick into your hand and lift your foot and knee up higher. Good, release, try the other side. Right hand reaches for your right foot. Reach upward, opening up your shoulder and hip joint here. Kick it upward to the sky. Good, lower with control. Both legs are resting down. You can rest into your forearms. Gently push up here, coming to a child's pose. Reach behind, reaching for your heels. You can rock side to side, gently massaging your forehead. Push up, sit up tall, tuck your toes underneath. Hands come to your heart center, bow down here. Good. Go ahead and swing your legs in front of you. Give yourself space to lay down. Reach for your right calf or ankle. Gently have some ankle circles here. Cross your right ankle over your left quad. Reach for your left shin. A nice figure four stretch here. Head and shoulders are resting on the mat. This flow we did a lot of a lot of new shapes, a lot of hip openers, balancing. We can give ourselves some restoration through these final poses here. Other legs turn now. Reach for your left shin or left calf. Cross your left ankle over your right quad. Reach through. Welcome that stretch along the outer thigh.
couple breaths here. <sighs> Gently release the stretch now. Uncross your left leg. Have your feet come out as wide as the mat. Knock your knees into each other and then gently and slowly windshield wiper them. Tee your arms out to the side. Now bring both knees to your chest. Twist over to the left. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale here. And exhale. Good. Bring your knees back to center. Exhale, lower them over to the right. Look over your left shoulder. Rinse out any excess energy in this twist. Knees come back to center. Extend your legs nice and long. Point and flex your feet. And bend your knees here. Reach your arms overhead. Reach forward. Squeeze into the tightest cannonball you can. And extend your legs and arms out for Shavasana. Before you feel like you have to stay absolutely still, it's okay to get those last wiggles out. And when you come into Shavasana, give yourself this rest, give yourself this, this um, restoration. Keep breathing here. I'll guide us out of this pose momentarily. For now, enjoy. Begin to deepen your inhales and exhales, slowly waking your body back up. Full deep belly breath. And exhale, clear it all out. Good. Gently wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingertips, reach your arms overhead for a good morning stretch any time of the day. Gently fall onto one side here. Push up, back to seated. Cross your legs, tuck your head towards your chest. Now bow down. Arms reach up overhead. Exhale, rest your hands at heart center. Again, reach upward to the sky. Hands come together at the heart center. One last time, deep breath in. And exhale, with gratitude, we place our hands towards our heart center. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. I bow to each and every single one of you. Thank you for joining along this journey of our inspired yoga. Namaste. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of your day. Take care. Thank you.